Hi guys, back with session 39. Welcome to 2011. We're going to talk today about Maslow's hierarchy and the care plan as they apply in the clinical setting. And as a nurse, you learn that Maslow's hierarchy goes in the order of needs and it's expressed in a pyramid, not mine, it's Maslow's. Um, Maslow talks about the physiological needs, safety and security, love and belonging, self-esteem and self-actualization that can be applied in the clinical setting. Um, well, I'm going to make reference to the surgical patient because when a patient comes into surgery, we all know that the surgical patient has needs all the way from the anxiety he goes through, waiting to have an operation and the outcome. And of course, once he comes out of surgery, we have to be concerned with things like his vital signs, oxygen saturation, possible re blood uh, rea possible reaction to anesthesia, signs of dehydration, bleeding from the site. So we need to uh, talk a little about this. And also, you might know that sometimes families are very, very anxious when patients come out of surgery, especially it's like an outpatient clinic, they want people to be able to go home right away and it's not. So we have to monitor these patients, make sure everything is above board before the anesthesiologist will give us permission to let these people go home. And even if they have to go home, make sure they urinate also. These are some of the concerns that are addressed in PACU or post-anesthesia care unit. I'm just going to go in very briefly to one number one of, let's say, um, Maslow's uh, hierarchy where he talks about um, the physiologic needs like oxygen, warmth, and comfort. You can see the surgical patient here has those needs. He needs his oxygen since he's out of surgery. He needs warmth. Many times patients will come out really chilling, so they need sometimes it's a bear hug. In some instances, they put um, warm blankets on them, have a little oven where they keep warm blankets. But to learn more about my Maslow's hierarchy, I suggest you go to uh, what is it, a collection of helpful clinical information for nurses, dearnurses.net, and you'll find more information on that topic. Now we're going to talk about the stroke patient. The stroke patient, uh, we know that when a patient comes in for a stroke, we do what is a nursing diagnosis. And of course, we have the care plan all incorporated, the cardiacs. Doctors gives you the diagnosis, and we nurses, we have our own diagnosis. I beg you to follow your institution's policies and procedures so you can get this correct. Um, because I don't work in all, all the institutions. So um, nursing diagnosis, some of the diagnosis, let's say, of the stroke patient, altered level of consciousness, impaired gas exchange, we'll run through this real quickly, um, impaired mobility, skin integrity, including nutrition, rehab, uh, related to the diagnosis. As you can see here, this patient is being retrained to walk again. Uh, fall prevention, that's a biggie. You don't want people falling on the floor. Seizures, yes, it can happen to the brain injured patient like a stroke patient. Family coping, and without a doubt, it's really difficult for a family who've had a normal healthy working person who has a stroke and now has to face the reality that that person will need her rehabilitation, which can go on for a long time. So if you want to learn more about this topic about care planning in the clinical setting, I advise you to go to dearnurses.com and address that topic called the care plan, what is it? And there's also care planning and patient education, which can be of help to you. And so I just want to say have a great week. Stay posted for more clinical information.